Pepper or Papa, whatever her name is. I don't know what it is. All my patients go to sleep. It's just where you go full recently. No. Smoke it off. No. Sleep apnea. No. Use a CPAP machine at night to breathe? No. Have you had a sleep study? No. Alright. So you stop breathing when you're sleeping? No, I don't think no. so. Alright. Hello. Hello. Any heart problems? High blood pressure? No. Cholesterol? No. Arrhythmia? Heart failure? No heart attack history? No stents in your heart? No. Perfect. Any neurologic problem like seizure or stroke? No. Spinal cord injuries? No. You're paralyzed? No. So you have a spinal cord injury? I think so. Black uh, uh, it's a no, spine spinal. bone narrowing. Okay, was it causing you any numbness or weakness? Numbness anywhere? and weakness in his Where? leg and feet, hands, pretty much. So you have a narrowing in your neck for your arms and a narrowing in your back, lower back for your legs. Both so. places? I guess so. What symptoms do you have? Numbness. That's it? Both hands? Yeah. You don't have carpal tunnel? That's what they say it was. Okay, carpal tunnel is a little different. And your leg, is it just this leg or both legs? Both legs. All right. You're weak in the legs, you can walk normally, or? Well. But you got a little numbness. Is it just in the feet, or is it up to your knees? No, or? It's in the feet. Okay. How about um, stomach ulcers, reflux, or heartburn? Any diabetes or thyroid problems? Just the green. Chronic kidney disease of any types? Liver problems like hepatitis, hemophilia, fatty liver, cirrhosis. You ever have a blood clot in your arms, legs, or lungs? Yeah. You see what I'm sure about that. Where? Uh, 19, 2005. Where was it? I don't know. You had a lung clot, a PE, pulmonary embolism? Yeah. What do they think caused it? I'm not, I broke my neck. Okay. So I think it, they put you on blood thinners for a while until it went away and you Coumadin. stopped? You're off the Coumadin now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You haven't had one since? No. Okay. Any um, medications you're allergic to that swell your face, lips, or throat, no. cause rash or hives? Okay. Anything in your mouth loose or removable? I took out a Good. Open it. You have a partial denture? Yeah, Upper? Hello. Okay. Wide as you can. Ah. They got that tongue on me. All right. Let me see your neck go all the way back. So when you broke your neck, they fused you, huh? Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, hold on. Just look, look up now. Look up. So you have some extension, but pretty limited. Okay. I'm going to give you something like that. Okay. Um, so yeah, general anesthesia. We'll, we'll put you get all our monitors hooked up to you. We're going to give you some oxygen to breathe in the mask. It's going to smell like plastic. You're just smelling the mask. Breathe in oxygen. You take big, slow breaths for me, okay? We're going to use some IV medicine to get you asleep. Once you're asleep, we're going to put a breathing tube in your mouth that goes in your upper airway here. You want to know that's going on. Once that's in, we turn some on the gas on. You're breathing that gas for the case. That keeps your brain asleep. When they're all, Then we get you positioned on your side so you can work here. When they're all done, we're going to shut the gas off. Your brain will wake up, and we're going to take the tube out, okay? Those that are recovering afterwards for at least 30 minutes, maybe an hour, depends on how you're doing. If your pain's well controlled, you're not nauseous, those kind of things, they'll get you out of there. Mm -hmm. Get you back over here and get you out, okay? okay. Mm -hmm. We'll keep you there as long as we need to. Sometimes you need more pain medicine, sometimes you get a little squeezy in your stomach and you need a little extra medicine, okay?